everybody, it's Miranda. Welcome to Diamond Painting with the Besties. If you're new to the channel, welcome for your first time. If not, welcome back. So today we have an unboxing. I wanna let you know beforehand that this new setup is really working out. So with that in mind, there are some downfalls that the you will hear the dogs. This is their realm, you hear, might hear their nails. You might hear them bark, they just got done barking at the UPS man have you so hopefully it's all out of their system and they're relaxing so um yeah i already opened it so i won't be struggling and i've actually had this for a couple days but i did get brad one and i wanted to afford him the opportunity to see if he wanted to make a video i didn't want to hog up all our material but nursing school is literally like trying him and overwhelming him but he is doing amazing but it's just a lot, a lot of work. So he told me to go ahead and do it, but I did get, I did get him one. So I apologize for hogging them all up, but I'm done now. So we're good to go. All right, so I already opened it. Like I said, we'll put this over here. I'm sure you can already tell by now that this is one of the fabulous Distracted by Diamonds paintings. So um, what I want to tell you about all this. Oh, that, um. I'm sure you've heard in some of my other videos that like for 2021, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. I'm trying to think outside the box and appreciate different art and everything. I'm also looking forward, forward to decorating my house or with different stuff for like different rooms and what have you. So when I saw this one, I literally was like, I have to have this. And of course, you know, I sent a picture to Brad and he was like, yes, yes, girl, you got to get this. So what I have for you today is Soul of the Rose by John Waterhouse. And this is circa 1908. This is a 62 by 95 centimeter square drill kit. And let me tell you, it is heavy, 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 heavy. For those of you that are new, have never purchased a Distracted by Diamonds kit before, we'll go over it a little bit. So we have her fabulous logo right here with all her little glitter and her super, super cute rolls right here. And the box, it's black and it always has the thumbnail image, sorry, right there. We have on the back your steps for, let me get that in there, your steps for diamond painting and all the instructions. I absolutely love her branding. It's literally like one of my favorites. Well, Distracted by Diamonds, her kits and her the things she sells um, are some of my favorites. So uh, Robin and Ben, they have their store. It's on Etsy. If you're not familiar with her hard to get items, she posts twice a day except for Wednesdays. And it's, let's see, I'm gonna try and compute it because I only try to remember by West Coast time because she's from Ohio. So they go at noon and between five and eight and 9 p.m. for East Coast time. Except, like I said, Wednesdays is their like catch-up day, their day of rest because they're posting. Now, um, a lot of people have said how difficult it is for them to get kits and everything. However, I noticed it's getting a little bit easier now, but she only lists what she can take to the post office, what she can mail, physically mail at one time. But like, she always has at least 20 to 25 items between like, drills, wax, um, like a wide variety of wax. She's had a couple different, like three different tins are up right now over the last couple days. And she has quite a selection of kits. She probably has like four or five different ones up there. And sometimes she'll list two in one setting. You just have to um, be patient. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Well, anywho, enough with my babbling and rambling on, let's get into this. I hope everybody is having a great day. Fabulous, fabulous day. This thing is so heavy, guys, like seriously. All right, let me put this box down there. 
And I know I'm not gonna even be able to get this roll back up as nice as it is. So the canvas is like amazing. It's like just thick and sturdy and just amazing. The edges, I don't know if you can see, are, are scalped. They're kind of like a scalped and like seared on the top. So your canvas won't fray. I know you probably noticed like some of your other canvases um, might have some fraying on the side. And as long as it's not too bad, I don't really care because the frame will cover it, but just as long as the rest of the canvas isn't chintzy. But any, anywho, let's get into this. I don't even know how. So we're at the bottom. We're at the bottom right here, and it says, The Soul of the Rose by John Williams Waterhouse, 1908. And I'm going to try and hold this up so I don't, like, drop it everywhere. When I saw this, it is so elegant and upscale looking. And I was like, this will be perfect for, well, look at this, for my dining room. All right, I have to turn this sideways and I'm gonna have to do whatever cause I'm not gonna be able to get the whole thing in frame. Can you guys see this? I mean, it is just amazing. All right, here we have our inventory sheet right here. Print it out. There are 39 colors and right here, uh, there's always a thumbnail with um, a description of your canvas and basically um, patty waxes, um, distracted by diamonds and patty wax. Um, essentially it's their mission statement and how they pride themselves in being a different type of company um, and with the help of her team and licensing experts, um, they value diversity, inclusivity, and the rights of the artist. Purchasing artwork is expensive, but knowing that our paintings are legal and ethical is priceless. And we believe you will feel the same way. Um, yeah, I cannot stress with that enough. To know that I have a licensed piece of art. And that's why I, another reason why I love this company so much is because I feel like I got like something super exclusive even though I have to do it myself, it's like, which obviously I love, but I don't know. It's just, gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling. This is just classy, classy, classy. Oh, good grief. Alrighty, so I will go over the toolkit. This one is a pretty basic, which I don't really care because um, I have like 5,000 of them and if you guys know where I can mail them to or donate them to, drop me a comment below. So in our toolkit, we get our pen. A white boat with a funnel, plate of wax. And then this is something new. This is like a little pill, pill box container. It's got five little spots in it to hold, uh, hold your drills, so that's cool. Especially if it's ABs or whatnot, like if you wanna dazzle up your canvas. So that's cute, I appreciate this, something new. I like that, thank you. This is a mama, like big mama of drills. And these are the good drills. Have you guys ever gotten drills and they have they're in the tiny, tiny little bags. That's like my least favorite. They have so much static and just the quality. Like my kid I'm working on now, if it wasn't for my cheerleaders, um, I probably would have given up on this uh, canvas and thrown it in the trash. But let it be known that I will be throwing out them drills. Any spare drills I have, they're all going in the trash. And I have to seal that painting like literally ASAP as soon as I can. So here we have our big behemoth of drills. I am not going to take it out because there is no way I will be able to get them back in and my container, my little five drawer container, Rubbermaid, whatever, that I keep all my accessories and stuff in and drills is, yeah, full. So, so like I said, it's a square and there are 39 colors. And I threw this piece of paper over here. And I'm going to be, let's see, we'll just go over right here real quick. 
There are a lot of reds and pinks and burgundies. There's some greens down there. I see some like yellows, some really dark colors. Sorry about the crinkling. I happen to, I don't know why I like the crinkling sound. I just do. So there's that. So let's go down the inventory and see what we have. Um, we have some lighter colors like 159, 166 is like the green. There's there's 310 obviously in here. Some five, some of the burgundy 550, 3371, 3750, 3842. Those are our real dark, dark colors. The rest are some greens and pinks. We have 844, 823 with that blue. So this thing is huge. Like, let's take a look at the field though. Ugh. And I'm gonna do my best. I'm only four foot 11, so try to, try to be patient with me. I have never, so far, from what I've looked at, while well, I've been talking to you, sorry for the glare, you guys. Um, my little nook right here is kind of dark. From what I saw when I was talking to you, the drill field looks like really, really clear. Like it shows like some improvements and the dark, you know, some of the darker spots have like medium ink colored. I wish it was a little brighter, but for the most part, the light colors have dark symbols and the dark symbols have the light ones. Um, Let's see, her face looks really clear. Let's see if you guys can see it. Look at that. It's like so, oh, there's just something, it's like enchanting almost. I absolutely love it. Her sniffing the roses and everything. As you know, these are poured glue. Um, this has one, two legends, so in the upper, right hand corner we have our thumbnail and our legend and then once again in the bottom left is the other legend let's see I'm gonna try and show you guys something else too roll it up a little bit see if I can bring it a little closer oh I probably already said this if these are this is poured glue and it's you know, came back, came really, really flat and perfect and it's just gorgeous. Can you guys see it all right? And let me turn it around so you guys can at least see the good, because this is the bottom. So I'm trying to be like optimistic because I had a feeling when I got this that it was going to be like confetti. And we, you all know that Miranda does not like confetti. I don't mind a little bit, but... For the most part, yeah, I'm not a fan of confetti, but it mostly, I don't see too, too much. I think it's mostly like got some, it's got some, it does have some color blocking. This black, the black part up here does have quite a bit of confetti, but then when you get down into the reds um, and the lighter colors, it's some color blocking confetti. So there is some room for color blocking, but not as much. Look at her face. Can you guys see that? Look at that. It's so clear. She's beautiful. I love roses in my front yard. There's a bunch of roses. So um, I just had to have this one. And I'm like really excited for some new art and excited that Robin takes work so hard so we can have such different and great pieces in our collections. And hopefully Brad will hurry up and open his yet his yeah listen to me open his so we can talk about it all right you guys so i will link robin's shop down um in the description and you can hit her up i'll put when she posts and stuff too if it makes it a little easier you guys set a timer do what you gotta do um yeah i cannot wait to work on this one um if you like what you see got comments you know feel free to like share comment um that really helps brad and i out and um if you're so inclined you know hit that little subscribe button we would really appreciate it 
Other than that, I hope you guys have a great, fabulous, fabulous evening. You guys will probably see this Wednesday. So I hope your Wednesday is good and the rest of your week is good. And most important, be safe and be kind. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.